Bye. What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. So Josh and I have just headed out to Port Stephens to try something different in the hope that we can catch that 40 centimeter brim so I can beat Josh to it. So we're thinking about heading straight out to some oyster racks, which is on the other side here. Should be some good fishing today. So let's get into it. Oh, bit of a beach launch. We are good to go. So we made it out to the oyster racks and you probably saw it in the b-roll at the start of the video but I'm trying out the Daiwa spike again today. I think this is the Suji berry color and it looks so good. So I'm gonna have a cast around here. We're sitting at about 1.2 meters. We had a bit of a scale around to see what the area looks like and uh, it looks pretty snaggy so hopefully I don't lose a lure here. Pretty keen to get out here, get onto a fish. It's looking like a good spot. I've never fished here before. I can already feel it hitting those oysters. So the current is coming in front of me and I'm also casting into the wind at the moment. So I might have to change direction. I'm gonna try this for a little bit. Like I said, it's looking like such a good spot for fishing. Oh, he's on straight away. Second cast. It's feeling like a nice brim. There we go. That's a good run. I say brim with these, these runs. It's trying to get me back into the snags. Up he come. That's a good start, guys. Really good start. It's not a bad brim, too. Second cast on the Daiwa spike. Got to be happy with that. All right, he's sitting on 30 centimeters, guys. That's a nice brim. Got my line all tangled up around him. But that's on that new Daiwa spike in Suji berry color. Second cast. Hopefully that's a good sign for today and what's to come. But the new lure is looking really good. I tried it out yesterday and didn't catch any decent sized brim. This is the first decent sized one I got. But pretty impressed so far. Let's get this lure out and catch some more. There he goes. Let's get another one now, guys. Sometimes when I catch a fish first thing in the morning, that's it for the day. I don't catch anything else, but hopefully that is not the case today. It's looking like we may get a bit wet. Don't know if you can see the clouds over my shoulder here, way off to my left as well. It looks like it's absolutely pouring down, but hopefully we'll be fine. It might make the fishing a lot better, but this spot is looking unreal. Oh, it's on again, on again. This is the very next cast, guys. This is good fun. What have we got this time? Another nice looking broom, I think. It's looking like he's only just legal, to be honest. Let's quickly get him back in. I thought you were a lot bigger, mate. But look at that, hook straight in its mouth. Did not take long, that was the very next car, so I'm two for three at the moment. All right, let's get another one. So I'm just slow winding it. I can feel it hitting the oysters below us. And I'm just slowing down the retrieve when that happens and lifting the rod tip up. I don't want to lose this lure. 
or he just got it snagged. So I'm going to go back over the top of it and pull it the opposite direction. Hopefully it comes out. Do not want to lose this lure after catching two fish so quickly. And I just lost it. Oh, you're joking. I think I've got to get used to having only four pound leader tied on. Hopefully it comes up, starts floating or something like that. All right, after stupidly losing that Suji berry color, I've now got the Moby tied on. This is the same Diver Spike 44 MR. I've got to get used to using straight through fluorocarbon for four pound. I think I've got to be a little bit more careful and maybe check my leader after each fish as well. Make sure it's still good. But I'm pretty frustrated with that. That Suji berry color looked absolutely amazing. Hopefully it's not the color that they're after. But let's try again. Well, I don't want to say it, but it's looking like it was the color that was catching the fish. I haven't had a hit yet. Well, maybe I just have high hopes after catching two fish so quickly. Oh, I am on again. There we go. He does not feel too big though. Let's just get him in nice and quick. Yeah, tiny, tiny whiting. Let's throw him in the net. Just a very small whiting. Nothing to brag about here. Wow, it looks so snaggy around here. I'm expecting to lose another lure soon, I reckon. Oh no. What have I got? I think I got a flatty. I oh, know, and I've got four pound on. Please don't snap me off. I don't want to lose another lure. Get him straight into the net. There we go. All right, there's that flatty, guys. Yeah, that lure pretty far down his gob. So I'm going to get him back in the water pretty quickly. Right, I'm going to do something stupid and cast right up in there. So that might be where they are, right up into the trees. I should probably throw like a soft plastic up in there in case I lose it, but doing it anyways. No, I don't want to lose this. Oh, why don't I listen to myself? Yes, we got it out. All right, well, I'm going to put this lure away I'm going to cast up into the mangroves after just seeing Josh get that nice brim up in there. But at the moment I've got this Daiwa bait junkie, what are they called? Minnows. And uh, I'm just going to cast that up in there. I don't mind losing these. I've also got these new uh, Daiwa bait junkie creature baits that I'm going to try out soon too. Oh, I thought we are on straight away then. Let's get it right down in here. So many snags in there. I can feel this lure getting snagged up. Oh, yes. There we go. There we go. Good run right at the start. He had a few goes at it, but now he's just not fighting really much. Oh, he's fighting now. He is actually very small. Just a good fighting brim. There we go. That rain's just starting to come over now. Starting to sprinkle on us. I was hoping for bigger. He sounded good when he took off. But he is so small. Off you go. All right, so I'm thinking of trying out these bait junkie risky critters. Just got them sent out to us. 
They look amazing and I've heard good reviews again. Daiwa's bringing out some really good lures. I've chosen the, this color because it's very similar to that Suji Berry that I lost before. I'm thinking I might tie a hidden weight jig head on it. This is my first time actually feeling them. They feel really good. There we go, guys. It's not my best rig, but I think that'll be fine. Just want to get it back in there, get back to fishing again. Rain looks like it might settle in for a little bit. Took its time getting over here. Don't mind if it's this heavy. It's only sprinkling at the moment, so it's not too bad. Just going to have a cast out into nowhere and just have a feel. See how the lure goes. Oh, it's getting hit already. Now that rain's starting to settle in, the fishing's died off a little bit for me. Been getting a lot of snags. The Josh is snagged off to my left at the moment. I haven't really got anything on this risky, risky critter yet. And I'm snagged. Oh, that's, that's gone. Oh, I just lost it. There we go, it's tied on. Again, not my best job. I'm really struggling with them. They're just so slimy with the scent on them. There we go, we're on. There we go. That's a flatty, just a small flatty. But still, another fish. He's not that exciting. Let's get him back out in the water. Well, that's getting hit already. Was that getting hit already? Yes, we're on. Oh, this is a flatty. Go away, flatties. I don't want you. Oh, sounds like my line is wrapped around a bad spot on him too. It's only a little one. Another little flatty, guys. He's keen to get back out there. There he goes. We went straight under that rock. So I'm catching plenty of fish today. Just nothing of size. I just caught another brim. Didn't realize the GoPros weren't recording, so I just missed that one. But he was only small. He would have been sitting around the 25 centimetre mark. It was a good fight though, he almost got me in all the oysters, so I wish I got that on camera for you. But we're on again anyways. No, we are not. It's another snag. But yeah, straight back over to this Moby Daiwa Spike. So I found a spot where it's about a metre deep. It's not so snaggy, it's a sandy bottom. So this lure should go pretty good along here. Oh, I thought that was a hit. It was. It was a hit. I am. Just a little whiting. Yeah. He is crazy, though. Scattering all over the place. Calm down, mate. He is so small, though. Oh, no. Oh, I just lost me pliers. Uh, all right, somehow I got that out without pliers. But that is another little whiting. It's only small. I'm going straight over the top of the oyster racks now. But I'm going to see if I can get my scissors out and cut this bloody rope off this net because it is the reason why that happened. And it happened to my mate with his glasses. All right, so anyone new to kayaking, I highly suggest tethering off all your gear. That was pretty rookie by me. But what I'm doing here is that bungee, that was the reason for me losing the lures. I'm now just gonna clip it on and with my outback, I have these ropes in it. So I'm just gonna clip it onto there now I will not lose that. I'm gonna tuck these away in one of my pockets and we are good to go. I've got this Jackal Chubby and it's in this purplish green, yellow color. It 
It's like it changes colors. It looks absolutely amazing. It swims pretty good. This is gonna be risky. Wow, it casts really, really well. Oh, there's a hit. Oh, in the oyster racks, oh no. <laughs> wow, I'm in the oyster racks, but I've got him out. That is awesome. What did we get? Nice size brim by the looks of this. Oh no, Just trying to get back underneath those racks. Oh no, do not go in there. Oh, he's gotten underneath, I think. He has too. Oh man. Hopefully he comes out. Is he out? I'm gonna try and guide him out with a kayak. Oh, this is where you break a rod. Oh. Come on, how'd you come? I think he's out. He is out. He's not a huge brim, but that was a good fight. I am lucky I got him out of there. Oh yes. I've never been able to pull a brim out of the oyster racks before, so that was really exciting. Don't know what I would have done if this was a much bigger fish, but he put up a good fight. Let's get it back in the water now. At least we're catching what we're after. Do I cast back into the racks? Do I do it? I'm gonna do it. I'm not even scared. I am actually very scared, but that was fun. So if I didn't have reverse on my kayak, I don't think I would have got that fish out. I was able to put my rod tip underneath the water and uh, slowly pull it out with the kayak. Oh yeah, we're on again. He's going straight back into the racks. Oh, this ain't good. This ain't good. Get out of there. I think I've gotten him out. I did. He is only small though. There we go. Just another small one. He's only just hitting 24. Let him go. What a day today has been. I've caught a lot of fish but none of good size. I'm heading back to the boat ramp now and I think I'll be coming back to this spot real soon. So you guys know what to do from here. Hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe if you're new around here and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.